In this example problem, we look at thermal energy transfer between a metal and water. Our problem reads, a 15 gram block of aluminum metal, originally at 98 degrees Celsius, is dropped into 55 grams of water, originally at 25 degrees Celsius. If the specific heat of water and aluminum are 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius and 0.903 joules per gram degree Celsius respectively, Calculate the final temperature of the metal in water. In this problem, because we're dropping the metal into the water, we know all of the energy that's lost by the metal will be transferred to the water. So the heat for the water is equal to the negative heat for the metal. Our equation for Q for the water is the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the change in temperature for the water. The mass of our water is 55 grams, its specific heat is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius, and its change in temperature is the final temperature, which is what we're trying to find, subtract 25 degrees Celsius. For the metal, Q sub m equals the mass of the metal times the specific heat of the metal times the change in temperature for the metal. So for the metal, that's 15 grams, times 0 0.903 joules per gram degree Celsius, times the final temperature minus the initial temperature, which is 98 degrees Celsius. Now we just need to plug in QW and QM into our equation and solve for the final temperature. QW is on the left, and QM is on the right, and we need to multiply QM times negative 1. We can distribute the 55 times 4.18 times TF minus 25 on the left, and the negative 15 grams times 0 0.903 times the quantity TF minus 98 on the right. And then we need to get all of our TFs on one side and our numbers on the other. So we'll add 13.545 TF to both sides, and add 5,747.5 to both sides. Then we can solve for TF by dividing both sides by 229.9 plus 13.545. If you put this into your calculator, you should get 29.06 degrees Celsius.